all things first kindly like subscribe and comment to get more tips so good day guys so basically this video is going to be all about how you can create your derive account and how you can be able to link it with mt5 and the ways you can actually deposit so upon me giving you this link for you to register all you just have to do is you click on the link either with your phone or with the laptop so when you click on the link now it will direct you to here to the sign up page so all you just have to do now is you input your mail so for instance now let me put a mail here because it's going to be kind of hard for me because i have an account so i just created that mail so i'm putting the mail in now So make sure the mail you are putting, make sure very well that you are putting the right mail because trust me, you don't want to send do a mistake because a link will be sent to this mail after. And this link that sent to the mail will be the one you use to continue registration. So as well, you can actually use your Google. But now I've been sent the mail, I've been sent a message to that my mail, the link to my mail. So now I have to check that mail so as to continue with the registration, just like I said. So now I'm checking the mail. I've already seen the link already. So the next thing I want to do now is I want to come here, paste that link. Yeah. So if you are using your phone, you can just click on the link directly so that you can just continue your registration. Do you understand? But well, for me now, just for easier use, I'm just going to copy it from my mail on my phone and paste it here so that we can, you know, continue with what we are doing. So now let me paste the link here i've pasted the link now so now upon pasting it now you have to create you choose your country of residence nigeria of course and if you're in another country you know you pick it up as well and country of residence and citizenship nigeria nigeria so Now they tell me to create a password. So you create a password and look at the requirement of this password. They have to be at least eight percent. Have a, at, they have to have like at least eight percent length, uppercase, number, alphabet. You understand? So click on next. So the next thing you want to do now is you are actually going to be directed to this page. You understand? It's actually going to tell you to choose your currency, USD, of course. And if you still want to choose euro or coin, anyone you like, just pick it. Then your USD now is asking me for to complete my personal details. So it's asking me for my um ID. This thing I'm choosing the NIN, which is very easy. I'm inputting a number randomly because actually I've already registered and they don't want to catch me registering twice. I'm just going to put a number. Okay, now I'm just going to put a name. I can see the laptop is bringing out suggestion of name for me, so I'm just going to bring out that. So the next thing date of birth, I will not going to pick anything because you know we're just using this video for our tutorial method. Okay, so let me pick this. Now you you do check that. Now when you scroll down, it's actually going to ask for additional image, and the ones that are actually aesthetic on top, it means they are very important for you to feel. So just put your number, you put your place of birth, put your uh, your residence. You understand? I'm just going to play around this. So on the tax residence now, as you can see, it's not aesthetic. So definitely, it's not really, really like important. So you just keep that. You choose your um reason of any. So now, upon clicking on this, I see that okay, it's not actually accepting the NIN number I put there. Remember, I actually just put a random number, not like the NIN slips really exist. So I'm actually going to go again. I think it has 11 digits. So let me just put 11. Okay, fine, it works now. So now I'm actually going to put my address. So I can see this is actually bringing our suggestions again. Um, should we play with this? Ah, no. Let's go with Lagos because I really don't know much about this. So let's go with Lagos. Yeah, let me put Lagos details here. Come in. All right. Um, so we're going to put if I call tweets at the I really don't know the um the postal code of the if I call 
I just put it back or something far away from what I have researched that again so I won't get my account banned on so I'm making a video here for everyone. So we'll click on next. So the next thing now is they are asking to some terms and conditions. So you have to click on no. So the first double check on this box then if you are a pep or you know just pick no. So after that you click on add account. So when you're done adding accounts let's see it's actually going to bring you to this dashboard it's telling you to deposit obviously you don't want to deposit now so just click on later or cancel it so we have the have ways of which you can actually deposit you can actually use payment agents your bank transfer anything but for now just click on deposit later so now you have been given this dashboard now the next thing you want to do now is you want to create the standard account but now in the case that maybe after upon inputting your mail this is what is actually brought to you a demo account ten thousand demo virtual the next thing you want to do is you want to click on this then i click on and change it from real from that demo to real so immediately you change it from that demo to real it's my now start it's my not tell you personally that probably you should not start your own personal registration but for now you know after the gmail actually directed me to do my own personal registration straight up but in case after you did your gmail and actually brought to this dashboard and back that but it's not actually real it's showing demo what you have to do is come on down there change it to real they will change it to real to tell you to what input your personal details and complete your registration do you understand so upon that after completing that the next thing we want to do now is we want to create our mt5 account our mt5 details when i click that i actually want to click on the first one which is saint vincent and grenadis because the rest i don't have what it takes you understand like some registration they will ask for tax number and stuff and you know we don't really do that so now it's actually going to tell me to create a password so i actually want to create a password i can actually remember make sure you're creating a password you can actually remember so upon the creation of the password now you going to make him to transfer but now let me tell you how how this transfer work immediately you deposit okay now let's go to deposit the site so click on cash if you want to deposit then you you see the deposit menu you see the deposit so you can actually use different means to deposit you can use payment agents you can use your bank transfer e-wallets crypto do you understand all those kind of things so or uh, so that's just that about that so let's click on that transfer because now when you deposit the money is actually going to be in your derivative account not your mt5 account so you have to transfer from your mt5 account to what you have to transfer sorry, sorry from your derivative account to your mt5 account so you all just want to do normally you come to transfer where you'll be able to transfer from that your derivative wallet to your mt5 wallet but unfortunately i don't have funds now so that's what actually asking me that i have no funds for me to transfer but when you are done depositing you come to this transfer and transfer it from your derivative wallet because once you deposit the money will be in your derivative wallet you transfer from your derivative wallet to your what to your mt5 wallet so the next thing i want to do now is we actually want to link our mt5 to this derivative don't forget we already created an account though we already created an account so now let's link it up so and this is our details this is the details of the mt5 do you understand so i went back now just to check the details you understand so these are the details we're actually going to use to log in our mt5 on our phone or laptop or phone precisely so now follow me and let us actually use these same details to register on the phone so the next so thing, the next thing you want to do now like i said is you want to you want to um link it to your mt5 don't forget we already have the details we've been using our mt5 which is actually going to be displayed as well so now this is it so let's go to mt5 so we have to download your mt5 from your play store app store depending on the phone you are using so this is my mt5 here right here so all you just do is when you open your mt5 you come to the downside you see you see this setting of the thing you know we have the code charts trade history you click on the setting then click the upper place you understand but in your case the fact that maybe you're just downloading it you know you might not see you can just only see maybe trade account or new account just click it then when you click on new account you understand for instance now then you use the server the login details you are given just like one beside the screen now you use it to log in on this now we have deriv svg deriv so you search for deriv which means the name of your server is deriv deriv svg so we have to when i type deriv now we have a quite number of deriv now so we have deriv v deriv svg deriv fx deriv vvi but the one we have here is svg so we click on svg so now the next thing now is the real server is deriv svg server 02 
click on the reverse widget so we check the server okay yeah go to here then we'll put the login number which is the one zero one four five the login id is zero is three three then the password in which you created while you were trying to you know while you're trying to create um the mp5 the other time i don't know if you can still remember when you click on it then when you click on it boom automatically you should be logged in you understand then 